Hi K folks, today I wanna do some practical comparison between uh, two popular test automation tools Cypress and Playwright. So let's see how it goes. First of all you will need to have uh, Node.js with npm installed. installed. You can go ahead to Node.js.org, download and install it. <coughs> And I want to automate very simple test. Just uh, go here and search for Apple AirPods, something like that. So we'll be searching for this exact string product. And I will check that the first result in the list is uh, exactly the same as uh, we entered here when we enter the full product name. Anyway, so let's start with uh, Playwright. <coughs> I will be creating everything from scratch for the sake of clarity. How to install and pay a minute. Okay, so let's do. Then I play right and then I cypress. Then I play right. <coughs> Let's see how it goes. TypeScript, no JavaScript. Yes, false, true. <coughs> okay, let's open VS Code. Package day dot JSON is in place. Okay, good. <coughs> Example test. Let's run it out of the box and see how it works. Now let's take a look at. No, let's. Okay, okay, let's run. <coughs> Try this first one. So it opened something. And this is it passed. And it keeps browser open because I have this option enabled. <coughs> I have extension installed for running playwright tests. So it's really convenient when you have this tab testing and you can uh, select which exact test to run one by one. You can run from here, you can run from here. Let's run this one. Let me remove this checkbox and run again to see that it opens the browser and everything works. <coughs> oh, by default it's uh, running in headless mode, so yeah, we we'll, we'll need this to be enabled in order to see the browser. <coughs> Okay, anyway, it works, this passed, this one passed, and I prepared a simple code, so basically that's the test I showed. I don't need this two anymore, <coughs> so we'll be searching for this string, for this product, post pro, couple of locators, I prepared in advance, it will open the page by the address using page dot go to page comes from uh, playwright <coughs> then it uh, put some value in input press enter wait five seconds uh, just to give some time for the page to load and show the results and then uh, it asserts 
by using expect expect also comes from playwright library package expect that the first product page dot locator uh, like and uh, css or x pass <coughs> first one get text content to be exactly what we entered so that's the idea of the test let's run and see if it works or not remove this one put it back to see the browser it opens the browser open the best buy enter search parameter click enter results are shown so you see it's passed here is green here is green so it works with playwright really simple test uh, now let's see <coughs> let's do the same in cypress cypress Is there any other get started link? Get started. So here on the first page, <coughs> actually they have this command. You can copy it. Even copy it, uh, but it will not work out of the box like with Playwright. Let me demonstrate it to you. So go back. I go to demo Cypress as I made with Playwright. So here, if I will run it, <coughs> uh, it will throw an error because with Playwright it creates package.json that uh, Node.js needs. In order to consider the folder as a project but this uh pm install cypress doesn't do that let me show you oh it created something error will be let's see on <coughs> the next step probably where is my getting started? npm install. Here they are saying only on the second page in the documentation that you need to run npm init first. It's not really convenient and not, not straightforward. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, and then we should guess the command should be where is my terminal new terminal npx cypress open something like that okay never mind if it works then it works Yes, continue, continue, Chrome, yes, all the default settings. What does it say? Okay, scaffold, give me some examples. <laughs> what does it do? Does it do anything? Unknown. Let's wait. Timed out. To do. 
anyway uh, so it doesn't work for some reasons <coughs> let's let's go back let's continue our experiment so this is exactly the same test written in cypress let's copy it paste it somewhere here i guess delete everything replace with by search cypress uh, the same uh, text and locators uh, ci.visit to open web page then uh, type and hit enter and then <coughs> a little bit different syntax for assertions in Cypress so I get locator <coughs> first element should have text uh, product search exactly the same test let's save it uh, go back to open browser see if it works or not there will be some error and timeout I guess So you see it cannot even open uh, Best Buy website. Let's try to fix this. So it doesn't work out of the box for this particular website. <coughs> it might work for others by the way. Uh, I started googling this error. I saw that there is some amount of website that Cypress cannot work with. But for me it's really strange because uh, this is, <coughs> let's say, very known, uh, well-known website. Why they do not support it or cannot fix their kind of errors related to Electron or whatever underneath libraries, underlying libraries they are using in their implementation. That's a good question. Uh, but anyway let's try to fix this one i found one fix in order to make it open website best buy website so it should be we need to add this to comments again this is really strange mag magic that i need to do some additional investigation and actions in order just to open the website because it's failing on this first command on this first function anyway uh, let's give it a chance now I need to replace visit to force visit since I added this one It still fails. Let's do force visit. Save. Go back to the browser. So now it can open this website. But there is next error. Minify the uh, React error. Something happened on the page probably in console or in network tab and it thinks that it should fail the test oh my god something happened there is no such issue with playwright and there is no such issue if you will open as a end user just open this uh, website in a browser you will see that everything looks fine works why Cypress consider it as a critical error <coughs> good question to developers the second question again Okay, I even found how to fix this thing. For this one, we need to, 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 to we need to add this additional function. Uh, 
before opening page I guess here save let's go back to browser the third error the third issue for this one I localhost against a region some cross region uh, issue for this one I spent one more hour but I didn't find to how to overcome it uh, at this point I gave up so and it all fails on this first page it didn't even get to this one because it doesn't type anything as we can see here this field is still empty so bottom line is cypress might be a great tool but not for everyone sometimes it doesn't work and based on uh, developers feedback in uh, and how do they reply in issues uh, on some created issues on the way they are back tracking system or somewhere <coughs> which I saw when I was googling this kind of errors basically they are not really helping others to solve the issues in most cases the answer is oh you know for, for, for us it perfectly works I don't know try to update some libraries something like that but the thing is that if you are building the tool for QA engineers, for test automation engineers, we don't we usually don't have or majority of QA engineers don't know how to deal with this kind of issues in uh, JavaScript infrastructure. How to jump between different Node.js versions, uh, update some Electron or other libraries, and so on and so on and so on. So, I think this tool is overhyped. And if I would choose, if I would have a freedom to choose what tool to use, I would use uh, Playwright because it can at least open this simple and well-known website without any issues i wrote a test within one two or five minutes for best buy uh, for cypress i spent more than two hours and i was not able to make it work do i want to use this tool definitely not but it might work for for you on your project with your website feel free i not <laughs> uh discouraging you of using it if you like it feel free but again for me it's uh overhyped <laughs> a little bit <laughs> because it cannot even work with bestbuy.com one more thing to note that for for playwright there is really convenient extensions for VS Code editor, text editor, that you can run uh, your test in visual way here, one by one or from here. For Cypress, I don't know why there is no such thing. The only uh, thing I found was some kind of pop-up um, text that appears when you hover on the test name or something like that and anyway it didn't work for me because it didn't open any browser it was running in a headless mode and besides everything so this is the browser that uh, Cypress opened and besides that it always opens this uh, separate window for Cypress runner or something why do I would want to have this window open I don't do anything in here. I want to run from VS Code directly or either from the terminal. I'm not sure for, for whom, again, they did this visualization, but for me, it's kind of useless. The same goes with <coughs> all of this stack trace of all the commands. As a creator automation engineer, 
I'm not going to look at all of this. For me, if I see that the uh, test failed, I will go and check what locators do I have here or rerun it or something. I don't need this kind of visualization. It uh, just uh, eat up the space and uh, I can just uh, randomly move pointer here and start to show what happened. Like, I don't know, for me, it, it looks like more a tool for developers built by developers for developers, not for engineers. So they can trace back something when they are debugging on their uh, local host, like in this case, it opens local host, it opens the URL here. But again, it's just too much of additional actions in order just to write one simple uh, test for Best Buy. So again, bottom line, up to you if you want to use it or not. For me, it doesn't make sense because it, I cannot even make, make a one single simple test to work with it. I'm just give up after spending three hours trying to make it work. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.